This is what I've got. Got, got, got my buddy Sash here, you guys. What's going on? He had the night burger for the very first time. Not 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 his, not not yours, but yeah. very very first time for me. I've been here for two years now. One of the hottest tourist spots here in town. Never fucking been here. You're welcome. See, anyways, I'm gonna... I feel I feel like such a tourist right now. This camera here. So. You all want to improve your haggling skill, skills in, in Kamai? Definitely come to this place, man. It's gonna happen fucking everywhere. <laughs> Tell us, please. So, please. <laughs> so yeah, uh, more or less, you got the front of the, the, the hey, night market guy, behind us down that way. Okay? You got the, the stage where there's live music and, you know, um, they'll have dances and all that good stuff going on. And then you have these two sections here. One on the left-hand side, which is, you know, all belts, shirts, shoes, all that stuff. And then the other side is the exact same thing. So over here, you know, you got people, you know, they'll sit down eat some food, and just, just chill out and relax. You know what I mean? It's pretty much what people would do just, on the Riverside. Just, uh, let's see what they got here, yo. Yeah, yeah. Got some right. barbecue. We'll start, we'll start down here. So this, is a, this is the same shit as, this is the same kind of street food that, that you see. It's all deep fried, you know, battered <laughs> shit. Exactly. You can see here. So let me break, break this menu down for you guys, if you guys can see it. Uh, noodle, fried rice, all that type of shit, $1.50, 6000 real. So you guys see the currency exchange rates here, right? All right. So, pretty much, it's definitely more expensive than it would be on the street, man. Yeah. I mean, not way more, but like 25 cents per serving more. So, a little bit. I digress. That's cool, man. Some mud, some mud. Uh, uh. Is that right? Did she say happy shake? No, she, uh, what did she say? Like, you want a lemon drink? Oh, oh. Okay. I kind of tune them out, man. They fucking, they're always asking, what? I'm um, some mud, mud. Uh, I'm good, I'm good. Motherfucker. She pissed at me. Yum, howie. I think this is, uh, what is that? Cow tongue? I think, I don't know. I believe the tongue in Spanish is lingua. Tongue? Tongue. Lengua. 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 Oh, damn. Okay, shit. Stand corrected. These people are famous as fuck now. Anyways, I don't even know. I mean, you, you guys who, who, who've been following me for a while can kind of see, like, 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 why I don't really come here, man. This isn't really my shit at all. But I'm out tonight, haven't slept in four fucking days. I got my buddy, Sash. We're hanging out. Anyways, you wanna, you wanna, I mean, just for the sake of the video, we'll just show him around. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, it's definitely a cool spot. You know, coconut ice cream. Relax. Cool. Oh, I didn't know that coconut ice cream over there here. There you go. All right. I'm learning shit too. Got some, got some sad, sad Kamai faces here. Mm -hmm. And, and, and white faces. All right. So like I don't, I don't know, give the fucking tour, man. I don't know. You gotta. So okay, so we should go to the front then. Yeah, we can start off at the front, but I mean, like, it's like a, like I said before, you know, on the it's right side and the left side, it's all the same shit. It's all the same shit. Clothes, shirts, underwear, bras, pretty much. You know, if you're looking for cheap clothing and stuff, you come right. here. Just like going to another market. Yeah, exactly. This one's just more you know, famous. And it's only open on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, right? Uh, I believe so. I believe, I believe that's the case. Yeah, I'm actually 100% sure that's the case. Damn, this chick has a fat butt. It has a fat ass booty for my girl. Dude, for my girl, she had a fat ass, man. Oh, man, I missed that one. <laughs> you got watches, you got wallets, you got, you got everything over here. It's, uh, it's yeah. pretty 
all total, all total shit quality, by the way, guys. You know, if you've got any viewers from uh, New York, think of it like Chinatown. You know what I mean? All right, so so it's like Chinatown and fucking New York. More or less the same. Yeah, you got watches, you got everything. You got everything. Mm. Yeah, perfumes, everything. The reality of living in Cambodia, you guys. The reality of a third world country. They're all hustling, trying to make a buck, man. Can't, can't, can't fault them for their hustle. Can't fault them for the hustle, nope. Yeah, so then pretty much in, in the surrounding area here, pretty much is girl bars. Yeah. I mean, right? Uh, I believe so, you know, yeah. you know, You know what we should do, since, since we already parked, we should go on and I'll walk around the corner and show some of these people some of the fucking girl bars. I mean, what do you think? I'm down for that. Let's do that, man. Because I've never, I've actually never done a video there. Neither have I. Nah, I've never done it, man. <laughs> I'm down for I, it. I have a feeling I might be recognized there. So I might get recognized. It's a good chance I might get picked out. Listen, if, if, if <laughs> I hear a no joke or a hey, Brayton, yeah. I'm buying you something. I'm, I'm buying you a happy shape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is this is the riverfront out here. Yeah. So this is the front of the market. This is the riverfront. Show them, you know, exactly. You like if you guys see the Phnom Penh night market. And this is what it looks like when it comes in. And prepare to be hustled. Prepare to get hustled. Oh, yeah. All right. So, anyways. So, we're walking. Uh, I mean, I wish a motherfucker would try mean mugging me right now. So, that's the riverside. That, that's the that's the Tonle, uh, Tonle Sop River. And then this is, uh, what is this? It's a Theros. No, that's a Theros. I'm an idiot. I know this one. It's Highway 5. It turns into Highway 5. I actually live further down that way. You live down that way? Yeah, so... So if you go that way, guys, it's south. It's towards, like, Aeon Mall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. guess we'll check this this one out. This is street, what, 110? I believe. And this is, like, this is, like, the northernmost part of the prostitute girl bar area of Phnom Penh, Cambodia. Yeah, man. You ever notice that all the bars essentially look exactly the same? With oh yeah. Some minor, minor details that are different. It's a good point. They all they all have that that Angkor fucking a, the the ABC sign outside yeah, 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 of the yeah, beer. They all, they all have Coca -Cola that. And shit. Yep. Like right next to the pink elephant bar is another one that has the same type of awning and shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's kind of the case with 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 everything here, right? I mean. Huh. Oh yeah. Just well. I don't know, like you, I think you, man, have probably spent more time here than I have. Well, I mean, I, I like, have explored a little bit. On the riverside. girlfriend, yeah. Like, or, like, or, or like, as far as hanging out. Because, like, I've been around here, like, walks and, and like, plenty of bike rides and shit, yeah, but, like, yeah. I don't hang out on the riverside. I've ever. been to, I've been to, like, a few places here. Like, I, you know, I did a video Got on some here, here. pretty chill. Yeah. Um, but as for girly bars and clubs in general, I think the only club I've been to in Phnom Penh has been this place called, um, oh, I can't remember for the life of me what it's called, it's, it's not that far from here, no. but it was it was a small little thing and, you know, there were barely any people there, it wasn't popular at all, it was horrible. Right. So. This is the, uh, the old market, I believe. Yeah. yeah. The old market. Yeah, and like. The bars look the same. The pharmacies all look the yeah, same. So like that is that is the pharmacy. Yeah. Green thought with the with the little uh, cross mark. Is that yep. what's that thing called? The 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 insignia thing. The fucking. Green I don't, it's definitely different the, from the one that we see back in the states because it's usually like two yeah. snakes wrapped, uh, yeah, wrapped yeah. against the pole or something. This is right. Like, I don't even know what the hell it's like. It's throwing a little on twist a on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. The durian, that man, that, that durian is uh, not very pleasant. It is pungent, yes. Alright, so. Got kids screaming in the street. Uh, well, night out here, I guess. I guess this is one of those uh, alleys, not alleys, but one of these streets with all the. Yeah, with all the girl bars on it. Yeah. Pretty much what it seems like is there's like little cellars and there's pockets of Kamai people all only together. Yeah. And then you've got bars with Kamai women and typically white guys. Yeah. 
Like old, more yeah. pretty much. That's pretty much what it is. And then you do have some couples here that are backpacking together, but you got a, like a lot of single white guys or at least traveling white men that are just yeah. cheating on their wife or whatever. There's definitely guys here cheating on their wife right now, 100%. You got laundry. Well, actually, uh, getting your laundry here done is very cheap. It's like two bucks a kilogram to a dollar, uh, to like a dollar uh, per per kg. In fact, it can be like as much as a dollar per kg. And for you dumbass Americans, a kilogram is 2.2 pounds. Let's see, so you got you got pretty plenty of nice looking ladies walking around, willing. If you're willing to pay. Or if you're just, you know, if they just really like you, I guess they'll fuck you. Probably, right? Probably, you could probably just fuck a bar girl, like, if she really likes you, right? I, I, I'm assuming so. Probably. Because, I mean, if they're, if they're getting... If I she mean, really they're... finds you to be, like, something special about it, I don't know. I mean, if you're banging ugly, fat, you know, white guys, if you find some guy who's attractive, you yeah. probably give him a freebie. Exactly, because it's probably, like, your yeah. way out. Happy Girls. That actually, that place, Happy Girls. That's the one and only girl bar that I've that I've ever been to. Oh really? Yep. And how was it? I sat down. Got how probably, long did it take? <laughs> so, uh, like where you're from? Thirty seconds of sitting down. I, oh, I had about ten, 10 girls around me. Oh, and you got that no joke physique. Well, <laughs> there was like, oh, like, no. no they were they were actually talking about my muscle and yeah, oh. but I was just like, like I know what's going on here. <laughs> I know exactly what's going on here. I know the game, girly. I know the game. Yeah, so they they all ten asked me to buy them drinks, which are three fifty a piece. Oh, the uh, girl. I, I didn't even have thirty five bucks on me. Like, why the hell? And then I I say no, and then they all walk away. Two fat ass old white guys. <laughs> I think this is the place that I went to. Like, I'm, I'm like, uh, I'm what is this? I'm not sure. What's I, God? I think this might be one of the places that I went to. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it. The, the, uh, the lounge. A lot of places to drink, eat, and I guess fuck up here. Yeah, it's, 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 it's pretty chilled out, man, for sure. For what it is. For what it is, yeah. Right. definitely a reason why there's a lot of expats over here. Definitely a reason. A lot of easy access. Let's just put it like that. A lot of easy access to whatever, really. I don't know, man. All vices are acceptable here. Pretty much. Yeah, like I've even been all for children, man. Yeah, of course. I mean, like you, you, you haven't lived the full Cambodian experience, guys, unless you've been offered a child to have sex with, oh, and, and both genders as well. Because apparently the guy thought that that a small girl wouldn't be enough for me, so then he offered me a small boy. I mean, good, good business sense, I guess, right? I guess. So trying, yeah. to, you know, diversify <laughs> trying to diversify. <laughs> Want the girl? No, live the boy. All right. Well, honestly, guys. The riverside here is just a repeat after repeat after repeat of the same fucking bullshit you see every you see everywhere else yes so i don't know man to be quite honest i don't have shit else to say for this video did you did you want to ramble or what you know, essentially, you know, if you ever come out to Phnom Penh, Riverside obviously is the number one place you're going to want to check out. Right. You know, you got everything you can possibly want out here. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. And, and like we were saying, you know, right. there's definitely a reason why there's a lot of expats here, you know? You got right. you know, drugs or anything, they got that here. You got plenty of drugs, you got plenty of pussy. Yes, whatever you want, man. All right. Honestly, when I come up here at nighttime and there's like all these white people outside, like I feel like, I feel, I feel like a little bit... Like on stage, <laughs> like they, like they're kind of, kind of like judging me, cause, yeah, yeah, cause like I'm a white guy too, like they're judging me. I don't know. Anyways, guys, fuck this up. Peace.